Hey, what's going on guys? This is uh, Benny Childs and I am here to uh, do a quick training on how to trade with 4x volume. Now, uh, the key thing with 4x volume is that it does tie into our market beat of trading strategy. All right, and this is going to allow us to see market manipulation a little bit more clearly. All right. Now this is uh, more of a, na a naked price action uh, type strategy. All right, but there is a particular indicator that we can use to help us again to see that market manipulation. And this indicator is actually built into our MetaTrader 4 platform. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do is open up our MetaTrader app here and we're going to click on our indicator button and we're going to go down to volumes and we're going to select volumes once you select that uh, I've used this before I typically like to make everything uh, white it, it just looks good to my eye right? and that's pretty much all I change there uh, no levels, no visualization changes or anything like that and you're going to select OK now what it's going to do is going to give us these ticks and you guys know that we like to trade on the four, the four hour time frame and this is how we use this well let's first do this uh, what I like to do for the template is also right click and go to properties and we're going to click on common and we're going to come right here and click on show period separators alright now on the four hour chart uh, this is uh, separated into weeks okay now another thing that I like to do is come over here and you guys um, should have access to download uh, this template and uh, or this folder and uh, you guys uh, should be able to uh, scroll down to the uh, workflow uh, forex trading strategy unit to get this template um, or if not just make sure you, you email us and I'll make sure I get that over to you but one thing I like to use also is the weekly lines okay weekly lines everything stays the same um, and there we go and so this just kinda helps me to better visualize this so basically what we want to do okay and this ties in again with the market beater trading strategy we're, we are going to identify key levels of supply and demand uh, areas okay and so this is how we do it uh, if we uh, bring your attention down to the bottom of the screen to the tick uh, uh, the volume indicator with the ticks you are basically looking for ticks that come up above the average range that has been made okay we'll just stop there alright and so for me any of the ticks that come above this portion uh, these are the ones that I'm going to be looking for now you don't actually have to draw uh, the triangle but it helps me sometimes but you can just eyeball it and see which ones are above and so I like to start I like to go week by week okay and this is what we like to do or this is what we need to do click on your vertical line okay now you see this tick here this stands out above all of the other ticks for this week okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to the main window and select that tick with um, a my vertical line because if we don't if you select it in here it's only going to be selected in the indicator window and we need it, need it to be selected um, in both windows and so again we do that by selecting you know when I get pretty close inside the main window and click alright again we're starting on the 4 hour chart once we have that we want to drill down to the 15 minute chart to get a more precise reading alright and to get the candle that basically to get the counter that actually gave us that tick in that four hour and so if we look to the right of here that tick stands out among them all 
and so that lets us know that this doji candle right here is what uh, gave us that tick so now what we want to do is select the horizontal tool line and we want to place this on the opening of the candle all right on my particular chart the orange candles are bullish candles and the white candles are bearish candles so bullish candles the opening starts at the bottom of the body of the candle so we're going to simply select that okay and so that's one key area all right and so uh, now if you just look towards the left you can see how this area was respected uh, it price came from here to here and it really couldn't do anything for quite some time um, uh, here it did not it came up to this line let's see here all right, you guys can see that wick that tested the line. All right, and it got rejected. And it did not break the line and keep going until 11, uh, uh, 44 hours, 11 times four, because this is a four hour time frame. For 44 hours, <laughs> for 44 hours, this level was respected. Why? Because this is where uh, the big banks and the um, institutional uh, traders and the market makers this is the level that uh, that they like and that they were playing around in so much so that uh, it went up and created the supply and dropped down here and kind of dropped below it and shot back up so they're playing around uh, with that okay so now we want to we want to put more more key levels in here okay and so we're going to go to the next week all right, and this is here is another tick right here that kind of stands out. We drop down to the 15 minute chart, and again, we are creating key areas to look for. Okay, we drop down to the 15 minute chart, we're gonna scroll over, okay, and we're gonna look for the highest tick, and it's gonna be about right. These two are the same, so. Um, you just pick one, okay? We're gonna select this one first. It's the opening of that candle. And then I'm also gonna select, because it's so, such far of a distance, I'm gonna select the opening of this bearish candle, okay? Go back to the four hour, let's see, let's see what it looks like. Wow, what do you know? It's right here at this supply area. And you see how prices is just bouncing, bouncing around here, okay? Um, and then we could I'm going to do I'm going to find one towards the bottom uh, here so initially what I would do is try to do about three on the current uh, view of the chart and so uh, one at the top one at the bottom one at the middle okay and so I'll just uh, I'll start over I'm going to scroll this right here all right this is going to be the start of the week coming up okay and i'm going to look towards the top all right and i do see where uh, there is a tick here in this week but it's not here at the top let's see if we can find one closer to the top okay i'm going to find the closest one to the top this one's about right here this one is about right here. Let's see. Okay, it'll be the opening of this candle. All right, so I'm just gonna place that right here. Okay, and we're gonna drill down to the 15 minute chart, and let's go look for that horizontal line. to the 
worm. See, now it's more towards the top. Okay, now let's do one towards the bottom here of the screen. And again, this is just going to give us some points or some areas to be able to look out for. Okay, uh, this one is towards the bottom. Okay. I didn't need both of those, but let's see here. Uh oh. Alright, so we need to keep that one on there. And we will delete that. Uh, keep that one on there. <laughs> and delete that one. Okay. Now let's go ahead and zoom into our 15 minute. Let's find this horizontal, I mean, this vertical bar. Okay. This is the only tricky part. Okay. Again, I'm just doing this so you guys can get a feel for uh, what needs to take place. This is uh, it's in between uh, the two that we have, so this this works fine for us with the upcoming week. And so, how how is it we would trade this? And so, um, we're going to trade this with a method that we're using in the workflow template. All right, I know you're not there in that unit yet, but when you get to that unit, you have a better uh, understanding. And again, this ties into the market beater because uh, how we teach the market beater here at the Teach Me to Fish Effects is we teach you to drop, to drown out all the noise, take all the pressure off of you, and focus on the midweek reversal and do that swing trade. So more of that information coming coming in the workflow uh, unit. So this is how we would we would trade this. We would go down to the hour since we already have our lines okay let's say uh, this has not happened yet okay what we're going to do is wait for price to break this line okay which is this area right here all right you guys see that candle right here let's go ahead and okay we wait for it to break now I'm going to teach you guys uh, the a more cautious way to trade it first and then I'll treat, teach you the aggressive way so this candle has broken okay what we do is this is our second candle what we do is we wait for what um, I like to call the trigger candle and the trigger can candle will be the next bearish candle since it's breaking to the downside of this um, um, uh, uh, institutional uh, trading line or market maker line we wait for the next one to break this candle and then we want to enter in okay so that means that here's our uh, alert candle and here's the trigger trigger candle okay and we will get in here all right and you see that yes the market did go against us for an hour uh, 11 pips but look at at the most we could have earned was uh, 108 pips okay now how do we how do we manage this this trade so we get in here 
okay and you guys know that I teach you not to use uh, I want to, I want you to get comfortable enough to not use your your stop loss uh, because the market makers uh, they do what is called uh, stop hunting all right they see when you have your stop loss in and they sometimes will run the price up or run the price to wherever your stop loss is just to get you out of the trade and then continue in the, the direction that you actually put um, the trade in for okay so what we would do is make a mental note to say hey if I get a candle to break above my alert candle then I'm going to get out of the trade okay now of course you don't want to do this around uh, any news events or anything like that because the market becomes highly volatile and you don't want to get one of these candles uh, right here to, to take place okay and so in that instance, then sure, you can use your, your stop loss, but if you don't trade around the news, um, it's more likely you won't get something like that. So that's how, we, that's how we do our stop loss. Now, how do we do our take profit? What we want to do is find out the size and pips um, of the alert candle or find the volume of the alert candle, okay? And so that is eight pips, all right? And so, uh, with those eight pips, we want to basically say, you know what, I am going to give myself, um, this, this is what I am shooting for, okay? Uh, once it gets down to eight pips, if you want to get in and get out, then you take those eight pips. Now, here is a more uh, longer term way of grabbing it, okay? So we see that this broke, this candle broke, and then we got our uh, trigger candle right here we're in, and we see that it got in and it produced a bullish candle, but while producing a bullish candle, it produced a support area. It produced this support area right here, okay? Produce this support area right here, okay? And now it's shot down. Once it, it shoots down past this support area, those of us who are, or those of you who uh, will be using the stop loss, you want to bring your stop loss um, right here um, at that support level, okay? This is just in case if the market does go around you, now you've banked um, these pips here, okay? And so, um, it's only a few pips, but this is how you are going to manage your account. Okay. All right. Now, once that takes place, here, let me change this to red. Okay. Once that takes place, each time in this particular instance, each time the market makes a support, all right, you're gonna and breaks that support you are going to move your stop loss okay so we see that it came down it created the support here and then it broke that support now since it broke that support you'll move your stop loss to the top of that range simple enough right now we see where it made another support here. Okay. But I, what I would do is include that wick. Okay. You would see where you see where the support was made here, but include that wick. Okay. And now, once it breaks it again, you move your stop loss to the top of that range. created another support it did not break the support so we would have got stopped out we would have gotten stopped out right here and so now you're looking at actually making uh, 73 pip run okay 73 pip run that is pretty darn good now that's the safe way to do it a more aggressive way to do it 
is as soon as this one and our candle uh, breaks this line, we jump in. Okay, and guys, as soon as that would have would have broken, we jumped in and we see, oh wow, we are in the positive for 10 pips, and then it comes back against us, um, and we're in a four pip deficit before it shoots down to 114 pip possibility. But because, again, we jump in, that support was created, as soon as it breaks that support, okay, go ahead and bank some pips at the bottom of the support, okay, and as it moves down and creates more support, and it breaks the support, you move your stop loss to the top of that range. It comes down, create creates another support area, okay, you wait for that to break there, and then you move your stop loss down to the top of that area, okay. Our market is going around, um, and we see that now it's coming back, it's going back up. And one key thing that uh, we could have done was look at a little price action, all right, and see that this is an engulfing candle, and price is just kind of gradually going back up. And then we could have manually gotten out of the trade, or um, if your stop loss would have gotten hit, then uh, let's see where we got in right here. Here we're looking at um, 81 pips instead of the 73 or something uh, that we had before. So uh, that's pretty much how we trade volume. Okay, again, volume allows us to see uh, where the uh, uh, institutionalized traders like your banks and the market makers, makers uh, have gotten into. And so whenever we see this tick, we know that, wow, this is the market makers pushing that down, okay? And so that means that they are moving away, they're moving away from this area. Now, this is very powerful when you take this over to our market beater trading strategy, all right? And I'm going to revisit that in the workflow strategy uh, unit. Okay, so I'm going to revisit that in that unit, and I guarantee you, your mind will be blown. Okay, we're going to include this volume trading uh, strategy uh, for better confluence for those weekly reversals. And I know I can see that your mind is already turning right now, but be patient. Go down to the uh, the workflow training unit. Okay. Uh, trading strategy unit and watch that and get ready uh, to start swinging these midweek reversals. Okay, all right, guys. So that is the unit on how to trade uh, with uh, forex volume or volume trading. Okay, and so uh, that's going to be it for me in this moment. As I always say, if you stay in God, you will stay in control. And until next time, happy pip fishing. All right, guys. Bye-bye.